open up your folding chair next to me. My feet are buried in the sand, and there's a breeze. There's a shadow you can't see my eyes, and the sea is just a wetter version of the skies. Let's get a silver bullet trailer and have a baby boy. I'll safety pin his clothes all cool and you'll graffiti up his ties. I got a perfect body, but sometimes I forget. I got a perfect body, 'cause my eyelashes catch my sweat. Yes, they do. They do. We have my autobiographies or biographies of celebrities, but mostly celebrities that have died, except Tina Fey. So they're not in alphabetical order because I thought I would put them in the order of who they would get along with. <laughs> so first we have Hitchcock, and I put him beside my two copies of. Charlie Chaplin's autobiography because I forgot I already had it. Um, I figured they're both great directors. They could really enjoy talking to each other, especially because they're from different times um, in film history. I then put Chaplin next to Brando because I thought it might annoy Brando a little bit. Um, now it'll be okay. I, I he he could he could handle it. I thought you know if Chaplin went into his tramp mode. You, it might annoy him. Then I then put Betty Davis beside Brando because I thought she could handle herself next to Brando. You know, you don't want to put Marilyn or 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 Shirley Temple next to Brando. That's that's not gonna work. We then have Betty Davis and um, Elizabeth Taylor. I feel like they're very two strong women, and they would either hate each other or love each other. I'm hoping love each other. I then put Elizabeth Taylor next to Capote because I thought they would get along good. I feel like Capote would like Elizabeth Taylor. I haven't read this, so <laughs> I don't don't know. Um, we then have Capote next to Groucho Marx, my, my small collection of Groucho Marx. Um, this, was, this was tough, because I didn't know who else to put Capote next to. I figured they could annoy each other a bit, but it, you know, it'd be friendly annoyance, you know, sparring, friendly sparring. We then have Groucho Marx next to Tina Fey because they're both comedians. It would be great. It would it, imagine it. It would be lovely. We then have Fey next to Judy Garland because Judy Garland, not a comedian, but you know she did a live performance. She's funny. She could be funny. So I thought I thought it would work. We then have Judy Garland next to Shirley Temple because you know they both sing. Well, Shirley Temple sang when she was little. And I'm still imagining her as a child here. So I think it'd be cute. They, they could do a movie. They should have done a movie. Um, we then have Shirley Temple next to Marilyn Monroe because I think they would, you know, they would get along really well. Um, finally, we have Monroe next to Vivian Leigh. And I didn't really know who to put Vivian Leigh next to. I know I couldn't put her next to Hitchcock because during Rebecca, she always wanted to be with, who was she with? Lawrence Olivier because they were together and and I think and I read somewhere Hitchcock was annoyed so I couldn't do that. It, 
and I can't put her next to Brando. I didn't know where to put her, so she's she's there. It'll be it'll be good. Well, it it would be good. So that is how I arranged my collection of autobiographies and biographies of actors and actresses or writers, directors. Yes. Not creepy.